Okay, we're up. Turn the volume down a little bit. Okay. The water is still standing. All right, so most of the time you guys have already seen all these videos of uh, flying around this area. So maybe I'll fly somewhere just a little bit different, get a little bit of different perspective and a view, and uh, we'll go from there. We're doing about uh, 38, 39 miles an hour, and uh, trims are at about three, and they can go all the way out to 24. Uh, but uh, no hurry, and I'm just uh, cruising along with the wind, and I'll come back to the uh, I'll come back into the wind. I'm about 400 feet, and uh, been flying for about four minutes. It's about 7:40. And today, I'm just flying, uh, well, at least right now, I'm flying with just one cam, a helmet cam, with a battery pack on it. So it's got plenty of energy. And I'm going to head down here towards Codensville. And you probably can see straight ahead there's a smokestack. And it's coming right out of the top of that thing and just uh, hit east. So the wind is coming out of the west, heading the east. A service to the uh, this area. There's some steel. There's a steel company, and uh, there's coal. See a lot of gravel come in this area as well. I'm not sure if they're bringing gravel in or taking gravel out. I usually will buy my gravel for my driveway. Uh, it comes out of Michigan, and it's a white, very hard gravel. It's a lot better than the soft limestone we have out of this area. So we're doing about 40, 40-ish. 40, Kind of bouncing in between 39, 42, about 670 feet. We're about four miles away from the airport, and flying for about nine minutes. Still flying my Dudek Universal 1.1. Thinking about pulling out my old wing and flying it again. Maybe the 4th of July I might take it out. We'll see what the weather's like then, just for nostalgic purpose. And there isn't any uh, that I know of, and I'm not seeing any on my uh, any messages saying this is a no-fly area. But, of course, you don't want to get up in there in that smoke, and you don't want to get it on the other side and get into it because it's just kind of a, kind of nasty. It could be ashes in there. I'm sure there's ashes and everything else. When this plant goes out, it's going to be interesting because all this uh, coal ash is used to put on the roads around here uh, for when it snows. So uh, I'm not sure what uh, where they're going to get their coal, the ash from. So anyway, I think I'm close enough to it. I think probably the camera is probably good. Got a good view of it. It's really pumping out. I'm going to swing to the left, do a big circle around Coatesville.
That's one thing about trikes. You can land them with the wind, into the wind. Yeah, we can flare right here, just kind of hold it. Okay.